a ballistic turret is calibrated in the yards to your target. On today's topic, we're going to discuss what you need to do to accomplish a shot that is beyond your turret calibration. Essentially, when you adjust your elevation adjustment, you're changing the angle relationship between your line of sight, which is your crosshairs, and your board line. Essentially, uh, when you dial that elevation adjustment, you're lifting your board line so you can shoot a target that's farther. Uh, on the new ballistic turret from G7, we've added an MOA calibration. So now you have your BDC numbers, which is your range to target, your wind hold calibration, and now the MOA adjustment. That allows us to make MOA compensations. Almost all scopes have the MOA adjustments. Usually we're calibrated for a quarter minute of angle, so that's quarter inch at 100 yards. Uh, generally with more expensive scopes, that calibration is more accurate. Now, we've got a calibration on our scope. We need to know how much adjustment we need to make for a certain range. I've got a target set up out here, and it's 1,175 yards. So I need to know how many minutes of angle, or how much I need to raise that bore, so that I can hit that target at that range. Now one way to do it is uh, go to g7.com, use the free online ballistics calculator. You're gonna put your ballistic parameters in, like your BC of your bullet, your muzzle velocity. Uh, we'll also have some simple sighting conditions like your zero range, your sight height, etc. Uh, you'll also program in your anticipated elevation and temperature at the time that you're gonna shoot. Uh, those are pretty straightforward things to collect and enter, and then we're gonna calculate a drop chart we want the output to be in minutes of angle, and it'll tell us for 1,175 yards we need so many minutes of angle adjustment. Today, I'm going to use the field version of our G7 ballistic calculator, and I've already got my uh, ballistic parameters stored. This is my rifle that I'm using. That's a 65284. BC 612, muzzle velocity is about 3020. All I need to do is program in my line of sight to target. It's 1175 and then calculate that firing solution, it tells me 27.8 minutes of angle. Now, we have 20 minutes of, of compensation per revolution, so I'm gonna go up all the way, one turn, so that's 20 minutes, and now I need to dial to 7.8, which is seven and, and three clicks, so seven and three quarters. Now that's my drop compensation. This also tells me that for a 10 mile an hour wind, I've got six minutes of angle, so I need to get a dope on, on what my wind speed's doing. I'm running up to 10, 13 miles per hour there, but my crosswind amount is running right in that seven to 10 miles per hour. So I'm gonna shoot for in that four to six. We'll try five right off the bat and see if I can hit that target in five minutes. six minutes of wind. The wind picked up a little bit while we we're shooting. The tricky thing was timing the swing of the target so that by the time the bullet hit there the target was turned and facing us. But we got it there. Six minutes of wind. We had 27.8 minutes of angle dialed into our scope. That's a tough compensation but with the right equipment and the ability to dial the proper compensation amount we can make those kind of shots. I'm Aaron Davidson and that is shooting ultra long range.